not only are not all of these from CEX for a change, but I can only remember like three of them because I've had them sitting on a shelf for about two weeks. So I'm kind of keen to see what I actually bought. So one of these is from Amazon, but I don't think it's this one. And I can't remember any of the prices, but I think the most expensive one was about £2. My favourite Martian. I'd never heard of this, but I was just kind of looking through some of the bargains on CEX's website and it looks like it's about a harmless mar Martian who comes down to earth. What's not to love about that premise? First in this package we have... We have a trilogy of Christmas films. I only bought this because I really wanted to see National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Wanted to see it at Christmas but couldn't get hold of a copy. But I just... I really want to see what Chevy Chase is like in it. I've seen Fred Claus. I've never seen Jack Frost and I do hang my head in shame at that. Lastly in this we have our branding crisis. You've no idea how few Sandra Bullock films I have left to watch. It's, it's so it's so upsetting. I'm trying really to ration them to one a week at the most. Um, yeah, Billy Bob Thornton and Sandra Bullock don't know anything else about it but she looks amazing. I actually think the Amazon one's at the very bottom of the pile. I might actually know what that one is as well. But this one from CEX is Empire Records. I have no knowledge of buying this or why I bought this. There will be a reason. Uh, I will find out eventually. Renee Zellweger's in it. That's why I bought it. This one's rather thin. I expect it's one of those really old, um, thin, non-DVD cases. This is... Pam Dauber, Remembrance of Love. Oh, I adore Pam Dauber quite a lot. Uh, I don't actually know what this is about, but it looks very dated. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm a huge Pam Dauber fan, so this is going to be a good watch regardless. This is the Amazon one, so because I remember what this one is, I'll do this one penultimately and then do the big parcel last. So this one is... Oh, this is not what I thought it was. This is not the Amazon one. Huh. That's odd. I lied. That was the Amazon one. Freddy vs. Jason is definitely not a Pam Dauber film. Um, yeah, I've never seen Freddy vs. Jason. I've seen the first five Nightmare on Elm Street films plus the remake from a couple of years ago, 2010-2011. Don't really like Friday the 13th, so hopefully this will get me into the character of Jason. And lastly we have a few in here. First up we have... <sighs> Shyamalan's The Village. I love Shyamalan, or at least I love everything I've seen of his work and apparently The Village is really bad so I had to get it and see what it's like. Then we have another Shyamalan, this is Signs. I've actually not heard anything about this to be honest so I don't know what it's like. Uh, Mel Gibson's in it, that's basically the extent of my knowledge directed by M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah, I found out the other day that Shyamalan co-wrote the Stuart Little screenplay. That like totally blows my mind. Then we have the butterfly effect to... I mean the first one was just so ridiculously perfect that a lot of people said Amy don't watch the second one because it'll ruin it. But me being me, I absolutely have to see what it's like. I don't think it'll ever be as good as the first one. But I will... I will... it looks more dated than the first one oddly. But uh, yeah, I will reserve judgment until I've seen it. Second last, we have... <laughs> Woolworths. Woolworths DVD. Uh, Tootsie. Yeah, this is definitely not a new DVD. Tootsie. The reason I wanted to see this was because I read in a magazine somewhere, I think it was one of those like top 100 comedies or something, where it was, it came higher than Mrs. Doubtfire. And apparently it's very much like Mrs. Doubtfire. And being a huge Robin Williams fan, I'm like, well, how can it be better than Mrs. Doubtfire? Don't be crazy. So I, I, I'm going. To, Gina Davis is in it. I'm looking forward to seeing it out of curiosity. But I, I'm, I'm exceptionally, exceptionally amused by the fact that that's a, a World Woolworths DVD. <laughs> and last, in Love and War, Sandra Bullock. This was like fifty pence or something. Uh yeah. I think I've got about five Sandra Bullocks left to watch after the DVDs that I've got just now, so that's traumatising. Uh, I wonder if I can ration them until Ocean's 8 comes out. I'm not sure I could manage that. But yeah, this doesn't really look like my kind of film, but it's Bullock. And it also kind of doesn't look like a Sandra Bullock kind of film either. I've never seen her in anything like this, so I guess that'll be pretty interesting. Admittedly, I'm very, very excited about those films, and the ones that I'd forgotten about, which was 90% of them, my interest has re-peaked. As always, I do love suggestions for films that you think I should check out because I'm kind of running out of ideas. 
and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.